That morning, as I awoke from peculiar and wild dreams, I felt rather lethargic and lazy. It was as if I had been asleep for years. Cat was already waiting. She was hungry, but sleepy as well. I wished I could stay in bed for a while just like her, but unfortunately I couldn't. I wasn't a cat. I was just an ordinary man. It was a day like any other. The cat was restless, but I didn't like to hurry. It was still a cat. She had to wait. I didn't have time to waste. She had all the time in the world. She had the whole day to do nothing but eat. I didn't feel like shaving. After all, why would I just because I shaved every other day? Maybe I could try something different, something new, something out of the ordinary, something that would give a new meaning to my life. Cats, I thought. What a life these creatures have, a life to dream of. They did nothing more than eat, drink, sleep, wash, and shit. My God, how simple and beautiful it all was. The cat wanted to go outside. I wondered why. Every morning after breakfast, I let her out. All day long as I worked in the office, she spent her day doing whatever she wanted until I came back. She just waited for me at the front door. But what the hell did that cat do the whole day? What did she get up to? Did she sleep away the whole day? At that very moment, I don't know what came over me. I realized for the first time that I didn't have a clue what that animal was up to. I wanted to know. I had to know what her life was like. At that time, I didn't know it yet, but it was the beginning of an exciting search. What I was searching for was not clear to me, but that wasn't even important. The journey mattered so much more than the destination. How long was one day in a cat's life? Was it longer or shorter than a day in a man's life? I studied her manners, her way of life, like an anthropologist in nature. Just like an Indian scout, I examined the footprints of the cat, and I followed the lead as if I was on a mission of my own. I stopped a cat, for Christ's sake. I was on my way to discovering the meaning of a cat's life. It soon became an ordinary ride in the jungle of the suburbs. But I felt my heart jump out of my throat. It was as if I had left on an exotic trip. Most of all, I felt free, liberated. In a second, I had decided not to go to work and to leave all things behind. I didn't look back. By noon, nothing really important had happened, so I ate my lunch in the park, which is where I'd followed the cat. It was stronger than me. I felt the adrenaline running through my veins. A wild animal, that's what I'd become, without any rules, obligations, or values. Sometimes, on Sundays, the cat followed me for a while on the sunny side of the street. <laughs> now it was the opposite. I was following her. I wouldn't let her go no matter what. I had to find out what she did.
but nothing really interesting happened. Maybe I thought I'd just caught the cat during her annual holiday. It began to annoy me, but on the other hand, I also grew more intrigued. I even felt relieved when I considered that my colleagues at that moment were at work. I was working my way through the path of a cat. By the afternoon, I knew nothing really worth mentioning would happen. That little bitch was even lazier than I am. <laughs> After a while, I decided to shake her up. There was no way she would sleep through the whole afternoon. I just, I just couldn't allow it. It crossed my mind that she was a spoiled brat. That was what she was if ever I saw one. What that animal desperately needed was a lesson. I had to show her some facts, open her eyes. I had to show her a reason why she would get up every morning and do things instead of sleeping her ass off all day. At that point, it was clear that she had to face reality. I mean, who the hell did that cat think she was? There were a thousand or even a, a million cats in the world that were suffering while she was living the life of a cat unworthy. She lived in paradise. Didn't she realize that? But soon after that, the miserable brat was gone. She abandoned me and her obligations. Now I really had to find her. Finally, I have to confess, she took her life in her own hands. It made my day, and I hoped it made her day as well. I only hoped I hadn't confused her too much. After all, she was just a cat. I disturbed her routine. If I wasn't careful, she would run out on me. Maybe she was lost, or worse. Maybe she would die the typical cat death. As I was seriously on the lookout by the end of the day, just when I finally felt what a cat's life was all about, I also realized why, all the time, she hadn't done much. A cat's life was boring and meaningless, but a cat's death was even more so.